Hey, how's it going everybody? Uh, just a quick video here to talk about uh, my this past year, 2017. So I made a goal, well first I should explain my backdrop here. I obviously, when we sold the house, I lost my nice backdrop in the house. So from here on out, all of my videos that I do this sort of format where I just talk to you, you're gonna get to see the bus in the background. So lucky you. Anyway, so um, I haven't been real public about it. I haven't posted a lot about it or talked a lot about it, but in 2017, I did a year without buying any clothes. And for me, that's a pretty big deal. I, I used to be a, a big clothes buyer. Towards the end of 2016 and into 2017, I got really serious about being much more of a minimalist. Uh, not in an extreme way, but but tr definitely trying to pay more attention to how much and how much and what I consume and really trying to pay attention to things that are um, sourced responsibly and what I mean by that is not using slave labor slave labor um, You know made where I know it. I, I can trace where it was made uh, That kind of stuff. I'm not perfect and and nor do I think I ever will be and I think it would be incredibly difficult to be perfect at this I just wanted to do better. I wanted to improve so first I want to talk about why I did it second I want to talk about things that I learned and I'm gonna to try to make this as quick as possible so one I already talked about it I was really trying to wrap my head around um, purchasing responsibly what that meant I, I was shocked when I learned how much slave labor there still is in products that we use every single day and this isn't adult slave labor not that it makes it any better but some of them are children and the horror stories and getting kidnapped to be put in factories that are producing low-cost products and yada 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 so um, really big deal to me when I found out how how much this is going on another reason I did this is um, I started noticing I mean I <laughs> more than I want to admit but that's why I'm doing this video is I really loved shopping. Uh, I didn't love the action of shopping. I loved buying things and clothes. I love style. I love following styles, that kind of stuff. So what it what it came down to for me is something that I what I realized is this is actually a uh, an addiction for me. It was because here's why. Here's my here's my reasoning. It was a dopamine hit for me. So I started to notice that I, when I went to these stores and I bought these clothes, you know, that was one dopamine hit um, and, and that got me hooked. And then as I wore these things and lots of different things and people would compliment on them or whatever, that was another dopamine hit. So the more that I could buy of different things and wear them in different situations and people notice and say I have style, blah, 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 those were, those were all, those were dopamine hit after dopamine hit and it just really fed my ego and I became addicted to it. And I noticed this and I didn't want to have an addiction to consumption of especially goods that aren't sourced responsibly or, or that I, I can't know if they're sourced responsibly. And lastly, the other reason why is I knew it'd be hard. I knew it would be a stretch for me. I knew it would be a place where I could uh, really test myself. Um, and and learn some things about myself and I did and that's what I'm going to share next so one of the things that I learned is that I don't need as much stuff as I thought I did um, when I decided to do this I whittled myself down um, I think I have a picture of it but I whittled myself down to three pairs of pants two pairs of shorts and I think five t-shirts Couple jackets, couple flat, long, you know, couple long sleeve shirts. Um, but it was fascinating. I thought I, w I thought I had nothing, right? And come to find out, I really didn't need that much. I, 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 and and even to to feel like I had a variety and enough to take care of my daily needs, I, I was great. I, I, I mean, getting rid of those things, I was, I was super worried about it. So another thing that I learned was that I wanted to. I figured out that I wanted to invest in myself through the products that I purchase. So what that meant for me is finding stuff that is well built, made out of really good materials, and are going to last 
a long time. Like there's actually people who still make shoes that can last you your whole life. They can be resold, the leather can be repaired. It may sound a little bit crazy, especially in the world that we're in. I, I call it, you know, the life that we live, the way that we purchase products now, I call it the throwaway generation or th throwaway generations. It kind of started within like the 40s and the 50s where they started mass producing products that were a little bit cheaper, more affordable, but they didn't last as long. So something else that happened, and, and I guess it was a learning thing, but it, but more just noticing is that I hate going into stores now. Like, I hate going into like an H&M and just being surrounded by the consumerism. And I, I'm trying not to be negative about people who shop at these stores, and, and if you do, please don't take this as a judgment from me, but just, for myself, like I, when I'm in there and I'm just seeing all of these racks and racks and racks of cheap clothes and shoes, shoes that are literally gonna last you, you know, 20 wears, 30 wears, and then, but they're so, it doesn't matter because they're so cheap, you can throw them away and go grab another pair. The other thing that I learned is there are manufacturers of goods that are working really hard with razor thin margins to create products that are sustainable, that are well built using good materials with really good labor, they pay their people well, and they're, some of them are struggling and they're making incredible products. And so I learned for myself that I was going, uh, and I resolved that I was going to seek out the companies who are doing these things. So that's it, that's all I wanted to say. Those are the ideas I wanted to get out there. So here's the thing, I wanna have a discussion down here in the comments. If you have questions, ideas, thoughts, even if you don't agree with me on something, please put it in there. I'd love to have a conversation with you. I'm not afraid of discussing this topic. I, I, I'm stoked about it. Um, and here, also do this for me. In the comments section below, tell me, whether you're gonna do it or not, I don't care, but tell me what would be the hardest part of not buying clothes for you for a whole year. And I want to hear, I want to hear your thoughts. So put that in the comments and we'll talk to you later. That was weird. I didn't want to do the peace sign. Can I do, can I do a different ending? Here's what I wanted to do.